Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined with my son, Jordan Spivey. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it on any of our science tutorial videos. In today's video, we'll explain the role of DNA in heredity and explain the process of DNA replication and its role in cell division. So, so let's, let's do this. this. Our learning targets for today are, number one, I can explain the role of DNA in heredity, and number two, I can explain the process of DNA replication and its role in cell division. Let's first start off by explaining the role of DNA in heredity. DNA packs in all of the genetic information of an organism and passes it on to the next generation. The basis for this lies in the fact that DNA makes genes and genes make chromosomes. Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, which is a total of 46 chromosomes in all. 23 chromosomes from your mom and 23 chromosomes from your dad. Through sexual reproduction, we are able to pass on our DNA or genes from one generation to the next generation. This contributes to the genetic continuity of our species by allowing our great-great-grandparents genes to be passed down to our great-grandparents, then to our grandparents, then to our parents, then to you and me, and then to our offspring, and the process continues on and on from generation to generation. Where's my proof of evidence with all of this, you may ask? I can just simply look at a picture of me and my son. Notice any similarities? And how did these traits get passed from me to him? Second, let's explain the process of DNA replication and its role in cell division. Think about this, cells are living structures and as living structures, they must be able to make copies of themselves. In order for a cell to reproduce, it must first be able to make a copy of its DNA so that the new cells can have the same DNA. The process of replication ensures that each resulting cell has the same complete set of DNA molecules. So let's break down replication in three simple steps, which are initiation, elongation, and termination. First, during initiation, the DNA molecule is unzipped down the middle by an enzyme known as helicase. Helicase breaks the hydrogen bonds between the complementary nucleotide base pairs of DNA. These base pairs are known as adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, where adenine pairs with thymine and cytosine pairs with guanine. Once these hydrogen bonds are broken, the DNA molecule is now separated into two strands. For example, if one half of the strand consists of ACGAT, then the complementary other half of the strand has the basis TGCTA. Second, during elongation, the sequence of base pairs on each half of the DNA strands are used to construct the copy or duplicate DNA molecules. Another enzyme by the name of DNA polymerase uses materials in the cytoplasm to make new nucleotides that are complementary to the original parent DNA strands. For example, now a complementary strand of nucleotides is made for the parent DNA strand ACGAT. The complementary strand is TGCTA. For the other parent DNA TGCTA, a complementary strand of DNA is made which is ACGAT. Notice that they follow the base parent rules for DNA adenine goes with thymine, and cytosine goes with Y. The third part of DNA replication is DNA termination, which is the final step of DNA replication, and that's exactly what it sounds like. It terminates or stops the process of DNA replication. After elongation is complete, two new DNA strands have replaced the original or parent strand. Without getting too technical, enzymes cut off a telomere at the end of each replication. Finally, enzymes called nucleases proofread the new DNA to check for errors and remove missed nucleotide bases. So what are we left off with at the end of DNA replication? The end result of DNA replication is two DNA molecules consisting of one new and one old chain of nucleotides. This is why DNA replication is described as semi-conservative. Half of the DNA strand is part of the original DNA molecule and the other half of the DNA strand is brand new. In summary, the purpose of DNA replication is to produce two genetically identical daughter cells in which each cell contains a copy of the original or parent DNA molecule. This is critical for cell division during growth or repair and replacement of damaged tissues in the body. If a cell dies, the body must replace that cell. The only way to replace the cell is to first copy the information that the cell contained. DNA replication ensures that each new cell receives its own copy of the DNA. Without the copying of the DNA, life would not continue because we would not be able to reproduce and replace ourselves as time goes by. Life is dependent on the information stored in our DNA. 
Without replication of our DNA, information would not be passed on and life would cease to exist due to our inability to grow, repair, and replace damaged or dead cells and tissue. This means we would not make it to puberty because we would stop growing if DNA replication was not occurring. Puberty starts the stage of our lives where we are able to sexually reproduce and pass on our genes from parent to offspring from one generation to the next generation. And that's exactly what heredity is. Our ability to pass our genes from generation to generation. As you can see, our DNA is the key to our existence in this great big universe. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with explaining DNA's role in heredity and explaining the process of DNA replication and its role in cell division by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic friend device to scan the QR code at the bottom right of the screen or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record the results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you, you better, better keep going because it's not over until you, you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and also click the bell icon so you don't miss it on any of our awesome videos. Peace, and have a positive, productive day.